Hi there. Welcome back to the final installment of the unboxing and overview of the 990 FXA D3 motherboard from Gigabyte. This little segment I just wanted to talk about the difference between this board, the D3, and the UD3, the slightly bigger brother of this board. And there's, there's a few minor differences, but they all make up to the, the difference of about $20 in retail. And they are, so the UD3 comes with Gigabyte's 2 ounce copper PCB. And what this means is that the ground and power plane, the layers of the PCB that are ground and power, these are actually thicker. So they have 2 ounces of copper per square foot of PCB, which is effectively twice as thick as what this board here has. So that's one difference. Another difference is that it actually has an extra e-tron tech USB 3 controller for some front panel USB 3 ports and it has one header and on the UD3 that header appears here. This board is missing that, it's only actually got two USB 3 ports and they're on the back panel. The UD3 also has firewire which isn't present on this board. It even has some heat sinks on the MOSFETs. Now, it actually has two little holes on either side of the row of MOSFETs here that you could use to attach a heat sink. You could either make your own heat sink, or you could get something like Enzotex MST-88 forged copper heat sink. Now, this is a 94 millimeter by 15 millimeter width heat sink that sits and uses push pins to sit right on top of these MOSFETs. Or you can make their own. I anticipate that in the future we'll have a video where we make our own MOSFET heatsink for this board here. So that was the one difference. The UD3 has a heatsink on the MOSFET. A fairly tall one as well. The UD3 also has a black PCB while as you can see here the D3 has a blue PCB purely artistic difference. On the back panel here you saw that we had no eSATA ports. On the UD3 you'll actually have two eSATA ports and what that eSATA is will vary on what revision the board is. If you have a UD3 that's a revision 1.0 or 1.1 your two eSATA ports will actually be coming from a Marvell controller an 88 SE 9172 controller and these two ports will be 6 gigabit ports. If you have the newer Revision 1.2 1, Revision 1 board you're actually going to have two 3 gigabit ports courtesy of a J Micron JMB363 controller both PCI Express. The one difference as well as having a heatsink the UD3 also has 8 plus 2 phase VRM rather than 4 plus 1. Now this should provide cleaner and more stable power and it'll also mean that you'll have less heat produced by the VRM because the more phases you have each phase does less work. Less of the duty cycle is done per phase. And because of the differences with the 2 ounce copper PCB and the phase the UD3 is actually an ultra durable 3 classic while as we saw on the front the D3 is an ultra durable 2 classic so these, can, these differences add up to make the $20 difference in the D3 price compared to the UD3 price other than that they both have exactly the same slot layout with the 4 PCI Express slots where 2 of them are 16 lane and 2 of them are 4 lane So that concludes our overview and unboxing of the 990 FXA D3. Now one thing that I haven't done is show you the back of the board. And I mentioned that there's a steel back plate on the back of this board. And let's have a look at it. So here you'll see it. You'll also see here that the heatsink that's holding down 
the south bridge is actually kept on with screws rather than the push pins that hold down the north bridge which is an interesting choice and if you look here you can clearly see which of the PCI Express slots are full 16 lanes here the second and the fifth and which are four lanes here the fourth and the sixth with that PCI slot in the middle so I hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching and check back often. Thank you.